today, eat like a local. I'm super excited about this. We're talking about Mexican food. I want to start to deep dive into the regionality of Mexican cuisine because it's so unique. All the places that you're gonna go to traditionally are gonna have the same thing. Some tacos, some this, some variations, but start to look for what they do specifically. Food from where they're from. I'm really happy about this one. We're gonna start here at Dicho's Taqueria, really focus on the food of Jalisco and Guadalajara. The torta ahogada here, one of the greatest things ever, one of the greatest sandwiches ever. And basically it's an homage to their grandmother that had a torta ahogada cart. They brought their history, their soul, their passion, and they brought their family. So let's get into Dicho's. I've been looking for this style of food and I found Dicho's Taqueria. And I came in and just sat down. It was everything I wanted it to be. And so I get to sit down with Andrea at Juan Carlos. Yes. I feel that this is a hidden gem in this city. It's family. It's you, your kids, your wife. What does dichos mean? So dichos in English would be sayings like, you know, life is like a box of chocolate. You never know what you're going to get. But we do it with food and we do it in Spanish because it's part of our culture. In Mexico, a lot of people, that's how they speak. It was my dad's idea. He wanted something fun, something people can sit down and enjoy reading, kind of like when you read a box of cereal. Well, because when I sat down in here and had a torta, that's exactly what I did. I just looked around at all the things. What got you into this? This is a idea to traer de Mexico a Houston. Este, para que la gente que vive aquí se sienta familiarizada con, con México y pueda probar platillos de Jalisco. Yeah, we are originally Guadalajara. from Guadalajara. All of us were born there. Um, and then he had a dream. And my mom and uh, my dad met at a restaurant. He worked as a manager in a restaurant, in a hotel. My mom was a server, but they always knew they wanted to follow a dream, a dream of owning their own restaurant. So they came to the United States. When he started from the bottom, he was a dishwasher for a very long time. Then he became a server. And whenever that came and we had enough money saved that we tried to do food truck. But then he he came up with the idea of Dichos and we found this location. And it was just a calling, like we knew this was right. You took a chance, yes. you followed your dream. And look where you're at. So you guys focus on some dishes from Guadalajara, Jalisco. Yes. Torto Hagada. Carne en su jugo, pozole, different tacos. Uh, we also have uh, seasonable things like champurrado, which is a very good drink. This is something that I haven't had in a very long time, and I love it to death. Champurrado. Champurrado. Basically like a Mexican hot chocolate. Yes. Thickened with masa. Masa. I mean, it's chocolate, it's corn, it's everything. I mean, I feel like I'm at your house. Yes. That's what we're all about. What are the dishes that you guys truly love? Mis platillos favoritos que es, es como los chilaquiles. Los chilaquiles son un platillo que los podemos preparar con ocho diferentes salsas. Chilaquiles, but the range of salsas is where it really comes into. Because it, let's be honest, the whole dish is just a vehicle to put the sauce in your face. Yeah. And I can get any kind of protein I want. Right. right? A little steak added to it. But I always have the beans, egg. And then the sauce. So you can go through any one of these different sauces. That's so right. you've got the roasted tomato, which is what you serve traditionally just over here, right? Right. Mm -hmm. the, the cheap Diablo, which is Chipotle. What is this one here? Uh, the the verde, verde, the green, so tomatillo. Tomatillo. Ranchera, so onions and peppers and yes. tomato. What is gravy? Gravy, it's a chili gravy. Chili gravy, yeah. Like. Yeah, I like. <laughs> and then the one that we have here is with the Aguajillo. Uh, is that Which this one? Yes. Yeah. I already know I like this. And mole. And mole. It's a homemade mole. That's so good. Yeah. yeah. That is so good. Mm -hmm. Mom's recipe. <laughs> of course it's mom's recipe. <laughs> and then there's something on the menu that I hadn't, you don't see in too many taquerias. This is something that I grew up with, um, and not a lot of people eat this, but this is... Machacado. Machacado. Which in essence is like thin dried beef jerky. Yes. Right? And you just kind of shred it down. Yeah. And then cook it with scrambled eggs. 
and digest. But not many people order them. No, huh? not a lot of people. They shy away from it. They really do. But it's really good. It's one of my favorites. <laughs> I had that. I ate the whole thing when I was here last time. Oh, really? Yeah. That's mm. really good. All right, what is this? So this is our taco version of a torta. So what we did is we have... A taco version of a torta? Yeah. So this is you just taking traditional things and then turning it into something that's a little bit different that you want to do. Yes. All right, I get behind that. And there's potato inside? Mm-hmm. But that's got everything you want. Okay. Yes. Now that's our new one. Uh, that's the pork belly tacos. That's so much. <laughs> That's a really good taco. The onion makes it. Yeah. That limey and herby onion. I don't, I honestly don't know what I like better. I like this one. This is your favorite? <laughs> this is my favorite. My mom would make this a lot when we were little. Really? Yeah. This was your growing up food? Mm-hmm. Yeah, most of the stuff here is my growing up food. And it's really impressive to me to see that you guys have followed your dreams but you're always trying new things. He loves to be innovative. He loves to play with the food and uh, you know, he brings my mom in, who is the genius behind all the seasoning. It's a husband and wife team in the back. La esposa es importante. Ella ve unas cosas, yo veo otras. Ella inventa una cosa, yo invento otra. This is what led me to coming to Dichos. So, roasted pork. Yes. Soft bread. And then ahogada means to drown. Yes, we right. drown it. And so it's drowned and it's chili, like an arbol chili sauce, yeah? It's in that sauce, yes. Because it's not named just torta ahogada on the no. menu. No, uh, so it's named torta ahogada Doña Queta, which is my grandma. Uh, my grandma has her own uh, torta ahogada a little place in Mexico. A single mother of six kids, she was able to keep up with uh, the demands of a single mother by having her own and he wanted to honor his mom this that's, way. That's not just honoring, this is coming from the heart. Yes. Right, this is everything that makes you guys family. Mm. The pork is delicious, the bread is delicious. The sauce is outstanding. And this is what I look for in this city and I found it. Did you try it with the spicy sauce? Is it not the same? No, it's not. Chile de árbol. This is just the chile de árbol. Now that one, I, another way of doing this is instead of drowning it with the other sauce, you drown it with that one. If you really want to kick. Yes. <laughs> Every time. Yes. It's one of the best sandwiches I've ever had in the city. Thank you. It's spiced, but it's not too spicy. It's got this, this smoky flavor, this roasted pork. But the best part about it is, it's from your grandmother. Yes, which means a lot to us. That means everything to me. Thank you for sharing your grandmother's history and her her life with us. Yes. All right. All right. Now the newer part of life. So this is basically a two-pound burrito filled with beans, rice, yes. meat, pico, guacamole, guacamole. French fries, <laughs> French fries and uh, cheese. And I cheese. Mean, and you, and people order this, huh? Oh, they love it. That's delicious. Yeah, that's delicious. And now we're going to head over to the pozole and the soups. Pozole this is quintessential Jalisco. Yes, mm -hmm. of course. Nice. So pozole, pork, chunks of roasted and stewed pork, mm -hmm. hominy, radish, cabbage, and then the broth. Well, I'm having a hard time putting this down. <laughs> Really hard time putting it down. So, 7 a.m., I'm coming for a pozole and a breakfast taco. Lunch, I'm coming for a torta. I might do chili killies for dinner. Chili for dinner. So, what to order, Dichos? Get that torta ahogada, slow roasted pork, drown in this spicy tomato sauce, chili killies, eight different sauces, that pork belly taco. Do not skip on the pozole, carne sin sugo, side of hot tortillas. That's what I'm talking about. All right, we did Dicho's Taqueria. Torto Hogada, fantastic. But now, El Hell Dog Ense off a of long point. We're at El Hell Dog Ense today. 
We're talking barbacoa tacos. We're talking lamb barbacoa tacos. Food that is very specific to where Carlos and his family grew up in Hildalgo. Fresh homemade tortillas, big strips of lamb barbacoa, a dried chili sauce, little onions, cilantro, squeeze of lime. Perfection. I can't wait. It's so good. It's one of my favorites. Literally one of my favorites. Let's go. All right, so we're at El Hildo Gense on Long Point with Carlos. This is kind of your family's spot. It is. You grew up in this. I grew up, seven years old. Just cleaning dishes, fussing tables, host, waiter, cook. Let's talk about what El Hildo Gense means. So someone from Texas, it will be called a Texan. Yeah. Someone from the state of Hidalgo in Mexico is called Hidalguense. Okay. So my family and I were from Hidalgo, so Hidalguense. When we started here in 1994, we just started uh, grilling chickens. And we had we were called pollo asados. Until a customer came up and said, hey, you're from Hidalgo. Why don't you do some lamb or some consomme? And that time in Houston, there wasn't any uh, place to get pencas, where the leaves, so you, that's what you cook with the, the lamb. The pencas? Pencas. It's like a, a cousin of tequila leaf. You think those long leaves co coming from a cactus? Nowhere in Houston you can find that. So my dad uh, asked his uh, father-in-law, my grandpa has uh, some pencas in his, in his little ranch, and he said, can you cut them up and we'll transport, we'll figure out a way to bring them here to Houston. My grandpa did, and <laughs> we got pencas, and we started making uh, barroqua de borrego. So traditionally what people think of as barbacoa in Texas is really coming from southern Texas, like northern Mexico, where it's the cow head that is buried into the ground, yes. wrapped, and then f like fire on top, yes. and and then cooked till it's um, you know like 12 hours pulled out. You guys in Hildago, it's more lamb. Lamb, yes. But in Dalgo, uh, they say it's uh, pre-Hispanic. They, they say claim it's before the Spaniards came, so it's indigenous. Uh, we would uh, make a hole, get hot bricks, put them down, and then put the lamb wrapped in the penca leaves, uh, put buried again with dirt and then put a fire on top. And then the next day kind of uncovered and you got lunch. Yes, and it's and it's a uh, special occasions. And now you guys are doing it all the time. Every day. <laughs> Every, day. <laughs> Every day. All right, so you guys are cooking this all night? All night, uh, all day, ha half a day and all night. All that meat, all that collagen, all that deliciousness. You get part of the rib cage in there, you get that shoulder plate. The best parts. Yeah, it really is the best parts. This restaurant is so unique, right? Because I've always said that this is one of the truest forms of Mexican cooking that there is. And it's not a region that a lot of, most people will understand like Northern Mexico parts, Chihuahua, and, and then to get into Puebla. But Hidalgo, you don't see a whole lot of this. And so it's a certain flavor profile that's really fantastic, right? Thank you, yes. You know, your salsa is not like a fresh tomato salsa. No. It's dry chilies. Yes and has just such depth of flavor. Thank you. And then, you know, you get the consomme. We have special pits where uh, the rendering of the fat comes down with some water and it, and it stays there the whole cooking process. And at the end, uh, we can extract that consomme. Yeah. You know, we put our some salt, some chilies, bring out the flavor of yeah. the lamb. It comes, uh, it comes together as a package, uh, lamb and consomme. It's perfect because you got the tacos, you got the hot broth, the soup that's silver flavorful, and you put some of that hot chili sauce and the little crispy taquito that you yes. get at the beginning. Man, come on. <laughs> the first time I came in here, it blew my mind. It's magical. We're focusing in, not just in Hidalgo, but uh, where my family's at, where I'm from, at Simapan Hidalgo. It's, uh, it's a mining town, and so all these dishes uh, from that region, from my town, we try to implement that as well. It's not just Mexican, it's not just Hidalgo, it's from my town of Simapan Hidalgo. All came from uh, my grandma, my dad's mom. Money was tight, my grandma would go, make coffee for all the people going to the mines, and then she got kind of famous and she started making chorizo, longaniza. People were coming to her and say, hey, I have a big Christmas party. Oh, can, man, you what? Cook, can you cook for 25, 50 people? So my dad would go there, and he would help out my grandma. And so uh, my dad learned all of this, all of uh, my grandma's uh, tips and tricks. Do you find that you get a lot of people from Hidalgo? Hidalgo is so close to Mexico City. On the, like, the way to Hidalgo, there's huge tents on the main street, and they say, Barroca de Borrego. So people from Mexico City go and pass these tents, 
tent little restaurants and they pull over and get the barroqua. So there are a lot of people from Hidalgo that come here, but there's a lot more from Mexico City. This kind of comes out to every table, right? Yes, this is the uh, welcome, no chips, the flautitas. A waiter will come by and give you flautas. And then one salsa. One salsa, this salsa. This right here, which yes. I think is one of the best out there. So Thank you. Just dried chilies. Dry, there's a there's a lot of chilies in that. Yeah, it's not just one it's type of chili. Not. Super robust, not too spicy, right? Too just spicy. great flavor. And it's just this move right here. Exactly. That's just a good bite for everybody, right? Let's look at mole. Yes. All right? Mole, grandma's recipe. So for people that aren't really in tune to what mole is. Chocolate-based sauce. Dried chilies. Dried chilies. There's a bunch of seeds, a bunch of nuts. A bunch of nuts, seeds. And it's got the texture of all those things. It's not too finely pureed. And, yes. Which is really nice. That's a perfect bite. I can sit and do this all day. <laughs> when you order lamb, it comes with consomme and it comes with nopalitos. The lamb is very neutral. It's soft and tender, but this nopalitos, you could put it in your taco with, uh, with the lamb and it gets another dimension to it. All right, then you get into this consomme over here, right? So, this is the rendering fat with chickpeas and rice. And you take the fat off, and so you get this beautiful, like, chili, chickpeas. Where does the chickpea come from? So, remember those tents? Uh, yeah. For people from Mexico City, they go. Yeah. So, they all have barroqua, but you kind of wonder why do some people go to here or to there? And then some people do different things with the consomme, some people do. Um, something different with their salsa, you know, so you find your, your tent, you find your location on the side of the road that suits you best. And so uh, my dad grew up, grew up growing with chickpeas in his consomme, so that's what we do here. And this is what we call... Michote. Michote. Michote, yes, go open this, this up. This is Barroco lamb, but this one's seasoned. Where it's, it's not spicy, it's, uh, it's an, a sauce, that just covers the lamb, and it's, yeah. you know, fall, fall off the bone still. Yeah. I'm gonna eat 500 tortillas today. Oh yeah, well. I'm not afraid. Look at that, just right off the bone. Not too often am I speechless. That look right there makes me speechless. I didn't even know about this. That has got such depth of flavor. Yes. Right, roasted chilies, slow cooked with lamb on the bone. In a fresh tortilla. So talk to me about this. Secret. It's her. It's her. She's been doing it for 15, 17 years. I have uh, four more tortilla ladies, and they've been doing it 10 plus years. The amount of pressure they put in, it's muscle memory that they have. And you can tell when it's a rookie one, when it's, they haven't been doing it for a while, because it's very inconsistent, very thick, very thin. Look at that, see? And then it just, that's perfect elasticity. A bad tortilla, just think about a taco, right? When you get it and it's a not a good, well-made tortilla, and you go to put it in your face and it splits on the bottom and everything falls out. You're not getting that here. I mean, that, it's got some grip to it. It's a really good tortilla. This is what's reminding people of home. Oh, yes. It's just a true form of your cuisine. It's what you grew up with and you're feeding your community. But you're doing the food of Hildago correct. We're trying to. What do you order at Hildagense? You see it when you walk in. The lamb barbacoa. Get that spit roasted baby goat, chicken and mole. I don't know. After that, get some more barbacoa. <laughs> Up next, I'm gonna check out Drip Birria. Birria Tacos out of Jalisco. Perfection. So today, we're gonna jump down Chimney Rock, Westheimer, a little food truck park. We can't talk about the food of Mexico without talking about Jalisco and the hottest taco on the streets out there these days, it's birria. Braised beef, cheese, tortilla. The liquid from the braising of the beef is turned into a spicy little soup consomme. You dip your tacos into it and eat it. Drip birria is what I keep hearing about. We're gonna check it out. So I ordered some quesabiria taco, or quesabiria tacos and a quesadilla. I'm excited. All right. So, 
the beauty about a little food truck area is that we have our built-in table. It's called the back of the car. All right, look at that. Nice flour tortilla, braised beef, spicy, got the cheese. It's looking good right there. Got to get the lean though, you know? Don't want that on your shoes. That's pretty spectacular. Corn tortilla, kind of rubbed in the fat from the birria mix. Put on the plancha, cheese, beef, onion, the broth. Right there. And this is the move. Enrique, you're gonna love this. Just saying. Other places to go try regional Mexican cuisine, Sochi for sure, right in downtown Oaxacan. You're gonna do the tasting of moles. Hugo Ortega and his brother Ruben really got it going on there. Don't skip dessert. Next up, tacos de bagotes. Pastor tacos, done right. They got birria, just delicious. Old school place on airline Tampico just reopened in their new location. Redfish, snapper, all your seafood dreams come true right there. On today's show, we did multiple regions of Mexican cuisine, right? And I think that's a true statement of our city. We can just not say Mexican food. We can start to go down the regional aspects of all of these cuisines. They're all very different. They're all delicious. You just have to find them. Follow us at Eat Like a Local TX. Tell us where you're eating. I want to know. I'm looking for the super thin northern Mexican style burritos where it's just a little bit of bean or a little bit of meat rolled in very small tortillas. Hammers. Let me know where that's at. Thank you. Let's go. <laughs> What's the order of Dichos? The truck going by. Definitely going the wrong way though. Can't go through the drive through that way. You can add meat to it. Anything you want. Get it's the same truck. Do we just wait to do this next week? <laughs> no. <laughs>